Hi everyone, here's a quick video on using Pixlr to correct photos and make them look better. All right, I know we've done a little bit of uh, adjustments that in Pixlr that are similar to Photoshop, uh, but now we're going to use them to try to make images a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to go through the instructions real quick on this. So there's a bunch of images below on my, this website, and you are going to click right click on the ones on the left, and you're going to save them to your Google Drive. You're going to open it in Pixlr. Then we've got to make a copy before you make any adjustments. In Pixlr, you can't turn the adjustments on and off, so we're just going to do it on a new layer. And if we don't like it, we can always delete that layer and start over. And these are the adjustments that I would recommend starting with. Levels, color balance, temperature, brightness, contrast, although not my favorite, and vibrance. And a word from all um, photographers, graphic designers, do not overcorrect your images, then they start to look a little bit fake. All right, so the image you are going to color correct all of these images on the left. So you're going to right click on this image on the left, save the image. All of all five of these, okay? I'm going to work on the cactus right now. So the image on the left, right click, save image as, and it's going to save to your Google Drive. Now you're going to do all of these. So you got for this assignment, there'll be five images you're going to turn in. Um, this is just what an improved photo. So you want to color correct it, make it look better, but make sure it doesn't look fake. All right, so let's jump on over to Pixlr. And let's go ahead and open up an image. So I'm going to click on open image because it is saved on my Chromebook. And it's going to be in my Google Drive. Let me scroll down to my files and open up this cactus. All right. So what my go-to, what I uh, prefer to work with uh, anytime I'm working with trying to improve a photo, which usually it's, I have images that are too dark and you want to brighten them up, but you don't want to brighten them up so much that you lose the detail. This image is actually backwards. It's a little bit too bright. So the first adjustment I usually like to start off with is the levels. And uh, kind of a rule of thumb for levels, uh, this image, not so much, but whenever you see this curve right here, the first thing you want to do is if this curve came and dropped off quickly, that would mean that we need to basically drag the slider to the end of that drop off. That's kind of a rule of thumb. Now this one, you don't want it. So this makes the, the, this darkens the darks and this will lighten it up also, which like I said, in this image, we, this case for this photo, we are not going to want to lighten it up just to add a little bit of darkness here. Now, whenever you're making adjustments, there's this button here where you could toggle it to compare. So this is with the adjustment. If I click it, this is without, with, without. And I think that is an improvement. Let's try to, let's go even just a little bit. We might even go a little bit darker and you could turn it on or off. Now, and these are the, this is the midtones. Now, let's say you do it and you apply it. Remember, if you make a mistake, control Z. Oh, I know. Let's go control Z. I've already made a mistake. First thing you're going to do, make a copy of your layer. All right. So this background, I'm going to duplicate the layer and I'm going to make my adjustments on this new layer. All right. So let's try this again. Adjustments, levels, and I know I need to darken it up just a little bit. All right, and we can check there if that's an improvement. I'm going to go apply it. Uh, for these images, you're probably going to have to use several adjustments. So there was levels. I'm actually going to come over to, uh, let's try the saturation. So for this assignment, when you guys are first learning how to do color correction, it's going to be a lot of just trial and error. Um, does this, does it work or does it not work? You know, you know, it's just going to be kind of playing around with these dials. Remember, saturation is the amount of color. And you don't want to oversaturate it. It might start to look cartoony or fake. Um, I might want to go right about there and you again can check it. That was before and after. And I think that is actually a pretty good adjustment there. So I'm going to apply it. And one more, let's go ahead and check out to see if it needs a color balance fix. Now this color balance, um, you could increase the red, increase or decrease red, green, and blues. So if I increase the red, which might be a good idea, to increase the red to kind of really bring out that earth color. And so let me turn that. There's the bird in the background. Sorry if you could hear. Um, and well, 
the point is for you to play with this and you to try to co correct these photos on what you think would look better. Now, again, if you want to totally start out, now I have applied three different adjustments, levels, hue, and color balance. Now, if I want to again check it, um, in Photoshop, you could actually turn those on and off. Pixlr does not have that. But again, we could check it by turning off this layer. That's the original, and this is the adjustment. All right, I think that looks good for this photo. I think that's actually a pretty good change. Again, that is the original, which it didn't look till, so bad until you're able to fix it and uh, doctor it up. Now, to turn this in, I do want to see, I want a full screenshot. So let's go Control, Show Windows, click, boom, and take a full screenshot because I do want to see your history. Make sure this history layer is not closed, but the history should be open right here. That way I could see what adjustments you made. All right, now let me come back to the assignment. So you're gonna do all five of, all five of these photos. Um, it's really interesting. The more and more you experiment this and learn about fixing photos, you'll realize how bad some pictures are once you are able to fix them. Like this gymnasium picture inside the gym at Rubio High School is actually really yellow. And sometimes it's not really easy to notice that until you start editing like the color balance and trying to fix it to make it a little bit better. All right. So you're going to put your initials, you do not type initials, but your initials, correction one, two, three, four, five. Um, well, let me, oops, I think I, um, yes, for this assignment, it's going to be five screenshots for this assignment. Okay. Five screenshots. Again, this is the full page screenshot that shows your history and those, and it'll be all of these images, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, and five photos to fix on this assignment. All right, have fun with this. Please let me know if you have any questions.